Hello. Today we're going to be talking about how to increase your ability to do mental math by utilizing enhancements that are based on steps that you can learn, that you can utilize, that are not shortcuts, and they're not math tricks. Okay? These are mental steps. We're going to show you the pattern that you're going to use for mental math for two by two calculations. Pattern is such. From the left side, you do the numbers straight down. You cross, multiply, and add the middle numbers, and then you take the number on the right and you multiply that. Add to the answer you had from the middle, and you come to your final answer. Let's do an example here. Let's do 15 times 14. Look here on the left. You have a 1 and a 1, which is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So 1 is number in your head. Then you cross. You have a 5 and a 4, which equals 9. You add the 9 to the 1. It's not 10, but it's 19. 1, 9. Then from the right side, you have 5 times 4, which is 20. You take the 2, add it to 19, it's 21. 0 is left over. 2, 1, 0 is your answer. That's how that works. Let's do one more and get a chance to see this with a larger number this time. This time it's going to be 52 times 84. So starting from the left side of the equation, you have 5 times 8 is 40. Now with 40, you simply just hold the 4. Forget about the 0, because I'll tell you why in a second. Hold the 4 in memory. You're going to cross over. You cross, go 5 times 4 is 20, and 2 times 8 is 16. Together, that's going to be 36. Now, remember what I said about the, the 0? You cover the 36 over the 0, so therefore, it really isn't important to notice it. So it's 4, 3, 6. That's going to be your partial answer. And then you end with 2 times 4 is 8. So it's, your answer is going to be, going to be uh, 4, 3, 6, 8. And that's the answer. Okay? Let's do uh, another example here. I'm going to have a 1 in it again, so it's going to make it a little bit easier, but still, we use the same principle. This one's going to be 71 times 84. From the left, you take the 7 and the 8, that's 56. That number is held in memory. 56, say it three times. 56, 56, 56. It's in memory. Then the cross, multiply, and add, you're going to have. 28 and 8. Okay. 7 times 4 is 28. 1 times 8 is 8. So it's going to be 36. Okay. Now you take the 56 and you add 3. So it's 5, 9, 6. Last part is 1 times 4 is 4. So it's 5, 9, 6, 4. That's your answer. All right. Now say the number is a little bit bigger. And you say, well, for example here. This is uh, 68 times 29, and you're afraid of 8s and 9s, stuff like that. Well, it's not really the math you're doing. It's the steps you're using, and that makes it easy. Again, the same steps. Take from the left. You have, you have uh, 6 times 2 is 12. Hold 12 memory. Say it three times. 12, 12, 12. Next, you're going to cross, multiply, and add. Okay, You've got 6 times 9 is 54. And 8 times 2 is 16. That should be 70. Okay? So now what you do now, again, the 0 doesn't make any difference. It's just a 7. Okay? So you had a 12, and now you're going to add a 7 to that, 19. So it's going to be 19. And the last part is going to be the 8 times 9, and that's 72. So your answer is going to be 1972, and that's the answer to that. Now, what... I want to press upon you is the fact that these steps can be used for any 2 by 2 calculations. doesn't matter what it is. It could be 99 times something, 82 to anything. Just making a difference. These are the steps. Taken from the, from the left, so your left here, you multiply these numbers. Hold the number in, in memory. Cross, multiply, and add the numbers. Attach to the next number. If it's, a, if it's a 0, like if it's a 40, you just attach the full number. To the, to the first number, forget about the, the zero. That's going to be your partial answer. And then the last part, on your right, you take those two numbers, add those numbers together, attach to the middle result, and that's your final answer. Now, I know people might say, well, you know, 
I like shortcuts and I like math tricks. These things are good. There's nothing wrong with these. Because sometimes you get a number and it's like, wow, you know, I have a trick for that one and you just pull out your hat. But the point is, when it comes time to taking tests or, or doing things that you really need to know, you won't always have a trick. So utilize the technique. Continue to watch these videos. And thank you for your comments. And I actually got some, some good suggestions. That's why I'm actually making these particular videos. So thanks again, and you have a great day.